Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Thank you, viewers, all over the world. We are there, you are here. This stand is not barrier. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, if God is with you, no one can be against you. Hallelujah. You have on your table, <clears throat> be a forward looker. I know you are blessed with the message of our our mama. I, 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 I saw when the whole church was clapping, I was jealous. <laughs> wow, I was there. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> Hallelujah.
I think we, we thank God time seems to favor us today. And I want to appeal to the, those who are waiting to share their testimony. Once again, I will, we are going to use the same way we attend to you last week after the service. I was able to meet you one on one, listen to your testimony. So we do this because of uh, weather. And uh, those who are living in the middle after the service. So uh, thank you. Hallelujah. Well, I too, I listened to the message of, uh, of our mama. <laughs> and uh, so, Esperi, and uh, <clears throat> well, we have a lot of lessons to learn from the message, and I wish I know by now it will have lift up your face. Hallelujah. Which uh, also will refer me to the faith bracelet here. Your faith bracelet. Hallelujah. Yes. That will refer me to this. This is my faith bracelet. Those of you that have it, can I see? Let me see your own. So you are in the church, you are not supposed to wear it. It is when you are on, on, on the run, you wear it. But when you are sitting down, I mean, it is time to, to, to engage in discussion with your God. Don't wait until man of God will say, let us pray. A break in prayer is a break in, in faith. In, in, I mean, so we pray all the time. So as you sit, you have it, you continue with it. Even your house. Huh? Whatever faith can't in whatever we do, just think of what? Think of what? Faith can't in whatever we, we do. You look, faith can't. Are you sleeping? Are you eating? Are you what? Just tell me. Faith can't in whatever you do. So when you are on run, like I'm working on, yes, that is when you have it. And the heart is in your heart. It helps you. You see, <clears throat> if the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. The heart will bring it. This, the, 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 the heart will bring it to fulfillment. If the word dominates your heart, your mouth, one day it will work. It will pay off. So it will help you. Are you are you there? Yes. If the word dominate, dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. And we all know when the word dominates our heart, it influences our conduct and character. It will help you to think about what you read, what you what what you read, and this is morning you have been listening to the weather girl. It helps you to think about what you read in the Bible.
And the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. Whose voice? God. Because you are not familiar with his voice. You don't know God's voice. It will help you to do what? It will help you to think about what you read in the Bible. And the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. God's voice. Are you, are you with me? And the more you think about what you read, the more your spirit act upon it. You know, when I say spirit, I mean heart. Until that word get to the heart, it go nowhere. The word of the word, the word of God. Until it get to the heart, it go nowhere. You speak to yourself when it's not in your heart. You speak to the audience. You entertain people when it's not in your heart. If the word go nowhere until it get to your heart. And the more you think about what you read the more your spirit act upon it, act upon the word. You know, the word and the spirit must join. To the degree the, the, the spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverence of his will. The spirit we have. Let's let's open our Bible to see some some references helping you. Are you there? I'm, I'm taking it, the book of uh, John 6. 63. John 6, 63. The Spirit gives... Okay, are you there? The Spirit gives life. Can you see what I'm talking about? That is, if the word as not getting to this to the heart it go nowhere when you say in jesus name you are speaking to yourself with if that word has not get into your heart if you are not speak of heart so this is what the bible is saying here it say the spirit gives life the spirit me i mean heart our heart the spirit gives life. The flesh can't for nothing. If the way is not from your heart, and you say, in Jesus' name, you are speaking to yourself. You are calling certain man called Jesus on earth. Not Jesus of Nazareth, we know. Are you with me? So I'm taking it again. The spirit gives life. It means spirit gives life. This in the, the flesh counts for nothing. The way I have spoke to you are spirit. They are alive. Listen to that.
we are talking of this. Now, I have said, like I have said, if the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. Then, I mean, one day it will dominate your heart. That's this what I mean. If the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. I mean, one day it will dominate your heart. The word will dominate your heart, your mouth. When, listen once again. Here, he said, the word I have spoke to you as spirit. Once again, if the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. That is, one day it will dominate your heart. If the word dominates your heart, it will influence your conduct and your character. It means if the word has not dominated your heart, it cannot influence your conduct and your character. You will still behave funny until the word dominates your heart. Like I have said, the spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverence of his word. The degree. That is, like I have said, when the word begins to dominate your mouth, it will soon dominate your heart. This will help you. This is city room. This is city room in your house. You have two bedroom flat. This is room. This is room, isn't it? So this is city room. Here is mouth. If you have a visitor, you can't take your visitor straight to your room. You entertain your visitor in your what? City room. And you ask him to sit down, give him drinks, give him drinks. When the visitor could not go that day, you can now say, okay, have a room. That is heart. This is mouth. When something is in the, in the city room, and refuse to go all days and that thing remain there tonight it will soon go in well, into the room <laughs> if you have a visitor that come to visit you and uh, this is your room this is your city room you sit here, entertain, drinks, food, and when it is night, you ask him to go inside the room. That is heart. Here is mouth. So, if the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. One day it will dominate your heart. So, this will help you. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Take more of me. Give me more of you. In your heart. And if you confess this in your heart. No mouth. Conf confession. Your mouth. You can't with your hand. And say it with your heart. I 
Hallelujah. The word and the spirit. The word and the spirit, God's word refreshes our mind. Take note of that. There are two portions now. God's word refreshes our world. Take note of that. God's word refreshes our mind. It only refreshes. God's spirit renews our strength. Put it side by side, brother. First, God's spirit, God's word, up. God's word, yes, thank you. God's word refreshes our mind. God's spirit renews our strength. These two must join the word and the spirit. If not, the word go nowhere. Now, look at the screen. You are looking at the screen. This at the where and the spirit must join. Now, the first, the where. The spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverence in honor of his word, in, of God's word. Now, faith bracelets, what is his function? His function to, to, to dominate your mouth. And when the word dominates your mouth, one day it will pay off. It will dominate your heart. If you put food, food, either rice, I know the whole world eat, eat rice. It's a common language. If you put rice in your mouth and you refuse to throw it, it will enter your stomach. If I'm talking, let me see your hand. Rice. If you take a spoon of rice and put it in your mouth and you leave it there and you refuse to pour it or throw it out, it will definitely enter your stomach. So, faith bracelets will put rice in your mouth. And one day, rice will enter stomach. Yeah. <laughs> rice will enter stomach. Yes, it will put rice in your mouth. And one day, rice will enter stomach. Because so far you are not doing away with it. Now, back to the Bible. Back to the Bible. Are you there? Mm. How to read? How to read? You have a copy of Bible. You must read your Bible slowly. Slowly. You may understand the language, does not mean you understand the word. Tell your neighbor, you may understand the language, does not mean you understand the word. Because it's not history. Uh, yes, you may understand as a professor, as an educated person, you understand all the language, the grammar, the idiom, whatever. You quite understand it. You can go through it. You understand it. it. Does not mean you know the meaning of what you are saying. You are ready. Read it slowly first. Write it down. 
Read it what? Slowly. Slowly. Because the Spirit of God is a gentle spirit. It's not, uh, this, 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 you want to finish the revelation? This, 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 I finish. No, you are deceiving yourself. Read it what? Read it slowly. Two. Attentively. Read it attentively. Attentively. You must read your Bible attentively. Attentively. Three. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. See, after going through the verse, David was born so, so, so over it again. David was born so, 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 so. Pause. Write something in your jota beside you. Don't go. It must go. This must not go away like that. Repeatedly. Slowly. Attentively. Repeatedly. How to read the Bible. You know, any other book, any other book, so far you are educated, you can, you understand the letter. Any other book you just read, you want to finish it? No, 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 this is not like that. You must be carried along by the Holy Spirit. To be carried along by the Holy Spirit, you must wait for the Holy Spirit slowly. Tell your neighbor, wait for the Holy Spirit. Attentively. Repeatedly. Because someone is with you, teaching you, you don't know. That is about the Bible. Where to read? When you just pick the Bible, the question is where to read? Where to go? As a, as a baby Christian. Where to read? Where to go? Will I start from Genesis? Or will I start from Revelation? Will I start from Matthew? That is the question. You don't know. Prayer. You must first pray before you open your Bible. You close your Bible, you pray and ask God to direct you where to go, where to read, and where to start. And after the prayer, you open your Bible. I think... Uh, we are, we are, I th this is you know I say here God's word refreshes our mind this means if you preach the preach the word Teach the way without the spirit. All will be idle, meaningless, often time destructive. Preaching without being carried along by the Holy Spirit. Preaching not according to the truth of the gospel. According to the truth of gospel I mean according to the Spirit of God. Because the Spirit of God is the truth. Okay, let me take you. 
I don't, I don't want to take it too long. Let me just say, uh, we should not forget ourselves. But I'm just talking about the faith bracelets that, that led you to that. Now, if you are preaching the Bible, the word of God, not according to the Spirit of God, I mean, not according to the truth of God's word, your word will be idle, meaningless, often time destructive, seven sons of Skiver. Seven, remembers the seven sons of Skeva? He said, He said, In Jesus' name, be he, be delivered. Satan said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Why? Because they were not doing this according to the Spirit of God. They were saying, be he in Jesus' name. Ah, Satan look at them and say, What are you saying? Paul, I know. Jesus Christ, we know. Who are you? Because they were not saying this according to the Spirit of God. When you preach the word, teach the word, pray not according to the spirit of god not according to the truth of god's word your word will remain idle when something is idle mm. hear yourself people around you will hear you god will not Meaningless. What are you saying? You only hear yourself. Often time destructive. Not according to the Spirit of God. Remember. Jesus said to Simon, I pray your faith will not fail. I pray your faith will not fail. Mean to us our faith will be tested that is the meaning in future one day our faith will be tested one day our faith will be tested If that is what Jesus meant. It meant our faith will be tested one day. If our faith will be tested, will you, if your faith will be tested, is tested, will you remain in faith? Resuscitation through the valley of shadow of death? If I say, I pray they will not collect this thing from you, mean you will face opposition, stiff opposition one day. People will, there will be great effort to collect it. Many one will want to collect it. There will be opposition. 
who want to collect it. If I say, I pray, they will not collect it from you. That is the same when Jesus said, I pray your faith will not fail. Me, our faith will be tested. In the face of that temptation, will you remain in faith? That is what Jesus said. My brother, this is a blessing for you. Hallelujah. He said, what? Blessings for you. So, because I see people sitting down, looking at me, I'm expecting you to have it with you. You, 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 you have it with you. Who is this man? It's, you can ask God, who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man we bomb, we bomb his house? Huh? So, you have it. Keep this here. So, now, back. Like I have said, the spirit will be released to the degree, to the measure, to the level we stand in honor, in reverence of his word. So this will help you to reverence his word. To swallow his word. To swallow his word. To have his word. To have his word in your mouth. You continue to have his word in, in your mouth. One day, it will pay off. One day, it will what? It will what? It will pay off. It will pay off. It will pay off. It will pay off. The mouth, the word in your mouth, was one day will be swallowed. We'll go into the heart. Hmm? We'll act upon your, 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 your spirit. And the more you think about the word of God, the more the word act upon your spirit. Tell your neighbor, the more you think about the word, you read. The more you think about the word of God, the more the word act. That the more it act upon the spirit. The more you think about the word of God, the more the word act upon the spirit. The more you think about the word. So you cannot continue putting, look, you cannot continue putting food in your mouth. You put food in your mouth, you continue to put food in your mouth, you know, the mouth will not well, occupy that. It will, be, it will force to go in. The more you think about the way, the more the way art upon what? Huh? Upon the spirit. Spirit may art your heart. The more you put food in your mouth, and you refuse to pour it out. The more you put food in your mouth, the, the more the food goes into what? To? Into your stomach. The more you think about the word, the word of God, the more the word act upon the spirit. Which refers to as heart. So I want to leave you here. So, yes. So, to renew, we are talking of renewal of the mind. So, the mind is renewed by study the word of God and by acting upon the word. 
So to act upon the word, this will help you. I want to leave you here. Let us see your faith bracelets. Let us see yours. No, don't wear it. Don't wear it. It's not for fashion. It's not for fashion. You can express it in fashion when you are in, in motion. But right, you are sitting busy. Can't your faith? Faith is, 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 I mean, it's, it's can't in whatever we do. Faith can't in whatever we do. Let us see your hand. Your hand. Uh -huh. Okay. Move, move, move along with me. Move along with me. Your hands, raise it up. Raise yours. Uh -huh. It will not disturb you. You continue. So what am I saying? Take more of me. Give me more of you. More of you. More of you. More of you. More of your faithfulness. More of your kindness. More of your goodness. More of your self-control. Keep busy. By the time you are you you it dominating your mouth, it will soon dominate your heart. It go nowhere. You should be addicted to this. Huh? Let us see your hand. Let us see your hand. Let us see your hand. Raise it up. So as time goes on, you will, you will not need this. This you will not need it again. By then, your heart will take it up. Even when you don't count it, your heart will continue to bleed. 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 You don't need this. But because you are at the beginning, you need someone, something on the outside. So as time goes on, you don't need this. Like me, I don't need this. But because I want to I want to carry you along. That's why I wear it. That's why I use it. Because I want to carry you along. I don't need this. I don't need this. But I want to carry you along. I want to I want to carry you along so that you understand what I'm talking about. That's why I have to come down to to your le to whatever level to get you there. So as time goes on, you don't need it. In a month's time, or in, depend on your relationship with God, yeah, you just forget about it, and your heart will just continue to bleed, bleed. Take more of me. Give me your. Give, give me more of you. Take more of me. Give me more of you. Without anything in your hand. But you have to start it somewhere. So you will have, then you will have graduated to that level. So depend the degree. The degree. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you are blessed. If you are blessed, let us see your hand. So what are you going home now? You, you are, when you live here now, you need this. You need this. You just have to start. Start, start. As you are sitting down, you are alone, you are not alone. Say, I'm alone, I'm not alone. I'm alone, I'm not alone. Yes, this is. This is. Continue. Take more of me. Give me more of you because we are more of ourselves. This is why we we don't understand ourselves. We are more of ourselves. This is why we we take a, 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 a rational decision. More of yourself. It's foolish thing. We are more of ourselves. That is why you take wrong decision. What to do next? But say, take more of me. Give me more of you. Me, you need more of God to succeed. It's your creator. Hmm. That is when we say more of God, the, the nature of God. What are the nature of God? 
take more of me, give me more of you, more of your faithfulness, more of your obedience, more of your holiness, more of your kindness, humility, self-control. These are the things we are talking about. These are nature of God that make up God. So you need more of him to take a decision. If you have more of God, I mean, this is a prayer for 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 baby, baby, Christian. We are our baby. We are our baby. In the hands of God, baby, baby Christian. Take more of me. Give me more of you. More of you is foolish. Hmm? Sit down. Can with your hand. Talk with your heart. So because you, you are directly talking to your heart. You are directly talking to your heart. But the passage you must pass through mouth. This is why. So, but where you are going is heart. Because what you are saying is not, if what you are saying is not from heart, you are talking to yourself. So, therefore, you count with your hand, talk with your heart. If you are count with your hand and now talk with your mouth, it becomes religious. It goes nowhere. You see me? I'm count with my hand. If I now talk with my mouth, I'm talking to myself. But if I'm talking to God, I'll come with my hand, talk with my heart. No one will know what I'm saying. Only me and God. This is Christian. This is the meaning of Christianity. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So if your faith is lifted, Lord, let you see your hand. So can you see, the word faith is natural. You may be an author of the Bible. Author. Brother. If you are an author of this Bible and you, you have published them a lot of Bible, if you are an author, yet you have no faith. You can be an author, a publisher of this Bible, yet no faith. Bible is a compilation of of, uh, of history of God generous. But, but when you now put Holy Bible, it becomes an inspiring book. There's different Holy Bible and there's another Bible. You can go to a bookshop and buy Bible, not Holy Bible. Anybody can buy Bible. So, a publisher of the Bible without faith. S sit down, sir. So, mean. You go to the bush shop, you demand for Bible, they will demand for money. The Holy Bible is not for sale, it's free, it's a gift. But the one you bought is Bible, not Holy Bible. The one you pay for is Bible, not Holy Bible. So take note of that. When you go to bush shop, you ask for, do you have Bible? 
They say, yeah, we have Bible. How much? Oh, five dollar. You pay. You bought Bible, not holy Bible. Bible is a library documentary of general God generals. So you my documentary now cannot give you holy life. So take note of that. When you now begin to read and read slowly, attentively, repeatedly, read with devotion, the way begin to dominate your mouth. Soon, dominate your heart. Now, you can talk to God, and God can talk to you. Faith is of man heart. Faith is of man spirit. Faith in God. Faith of God. Faith from God. The way and the spirit. Thank you. Thank you. God bless his way. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's a blessing to you. And uh, last week we tried to give as many as possible people. If you have not opportune to, to have it, I know this week. I think they will, they will, you, you'll be invited. So, and I want to join those who are inviting people. The group, all, all the departments, okay? So, I, I will join them to say what we can do with it, because you need it before the... the there's no better, no, no, no best year, new year, than to have the word in the heart. So now, by tomorrow now, you're going to talk of December. And the best year is to have God's way in your heart. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, and, uh, brother, you have this faith bracelet? No, I don't know if yet. You don't have? No, oh, yes. If you have, what, what will you do with it? What will you do with it? It will help me to, to maintain my relationship with God. So what, what are the lessons you learned from it? How to use it? To, how can I say, how can I use my mind if I learn something? With, do you want me to give you this so uh, you exercise it? Pleasure. Sir. Okay, Thank okay. you very much. Well, thank you very much. Use it as a say. How do you make use of it? I learned to count with my hand mm -hmm. and to speak with my heart. Oh, yes. Do that now. Let's see. Let me help you. You are carrying this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. With something. With everybody. You say you are talking with your heart, <laughs> but we are hearing your voice. Oh, she gave me a microphone. But okay, you are telling us what you are saying, have you? In thank, your heart. I thank God. I thank God for giving give me everything. Uh, I, I may be, I may to be here. Mm. So I, I think I realized that uh, before this faith bracelet, I realized that uh, our our fundamental problem is this: Christian, 
we don't have basic knowledge of God. It's Christian today. It's like a student who did not learn A, B, C, D, but now wanted to write Chris, wanted to write Joseph, but he never learned alphabet. But he want to write Chris, Joseph, Joshua, but how manage? It's not, it, it can never be possible. You must learn alphabet. A, B, C, D. So when you learn D, then they can now teach you how to put the word. How to, how to put the word into use. But Christian today, we lack fundamental knowledge of God. Yes. So, this is why it's difficult today. Christians, they don't know that you can be talking to man and at the same time talking to God. Because we are not using the same medium. The medium you are using to talk to God is not the same medium you are using to talk to man. But today we don't know. If I'm praying now, yeah. Come and call me. Call me. Call me. You call my name. You want to see me? Man of God. How are, uh, how are you? So that cannot stop my talking to God. I will attend to him and I deserve to talk to God. Because we are not using the same medium. I talk to God with my heart. And I talk to you with my mouth. I hear you with my ear. And I hear God with my heart. So it's, that cannot. So I will continue to, working with you, talking to you. We go together. With, you will not even know I'm talking to God. So, but today, how many Christians know this? When Christian is praying and you call them, TB Joshua, I want to see you. Please wait for me, I'm praying. Because they are using the same medium to talk to God and to talk to man. Please wait for me, I'm praying. So you now wait. <laughs> Jesus name, amen. Uh, what are you saying? I'm asking, man of God, how are you? <laughs> because I have collected this thing from you, that's why you don't. You refuse to. You refuse to leave me. Yeah? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this man. I realize that uh, I asked him to sit down. He refused to sit down. And I still want to use this faith bracelet to demonstrate some many things. So I collected it, and I'm, I have intention to return it. But because I collected, I want to talk. It keep, it, the leg keep checking like this. It's a, it's a, a type of man that, uh, you know, when they need something, you see their leg. Or when they are annoying, you see, when you see the leg like this, you, uh, I just look at the leg, I see that the leg was dancing. I say, I say, what are you looking for again? Okay, I've given you. So everyone is a title to you. It's a title to you. So we will have, we will have, we will have asked you to go and uh, to go and get your own, but it is not possible because a, a servant of God, whatever touch them, become blessed. A, a servant of God. What touched them can be taken to the sick, and the sick will be here. So it means 
this from me I give you. It's not just faith. It's not just a bracelet. It 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 will contact your heart. As you hold it, it con it will help you to communicate with your heart. Which ordinarily, if you get it out there, you buy it out there. It's, it it can that cannot possible. So that's it. Thank you. So thank you. Hallelujah. So please, those of us that have this, uh, I mean, look at this man. He's just bringing it out now. He has forgotten it. He was wearing it immediately. I was talking about the started country. What are you saying now? <laughs> immediately I was talking. He brought it out. Eh? This, sit down. This is what we'll have been doing since morning. Put it on the screen. Uh -huh, this is what we'll have been doing. But you are too. You, you, you are too conscious of putting it is normal. It should be normal. It's not something you do. You see? Your brain, your eyes, everything is fixed with this thing. So if you are not holding it like this, it means you will not be able to do anything. It should be normal. Just look at, look at me. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Look at me. I'm talking to you. How are you? Fine, sir. But that does not stop me from talking to God. Okay, stand up, sir. And that does not stop me from talking to God. Yes, sir. But I, I'm, I keep busy. I'm busy with Because I'm not using the same medium. But on your own. It, like if somebody call you, say, how are you, sir? Fine, sir. Where are you calling? Daddy, how are you, sir? Fine. Because I'm using the same medium to answer him and also to... So I cannot at the same time use it at the same time. Unless I'm using different medium. So what I'm saying, when you see somebody who do like this, it means he's not can with his heart. He uses his hand to can, but he's not using his heart to speak. Fleshly talk. So, I mean, so it will soon, I mean, uh, you, you become a dictatorist very soon. Okay? Mm. Hallelujah. 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 So, thank you, thank you. Were, were the people from other countries that just come in? Oh, my God. So, you are living here. Let me just go to the midst of people that... We are people from other countries. So you lodge outside? Yes. You lodge outside? Yes, Daddy. From where? From Ghana, please. You? From Mongolia. Mongolia. Oh, you are welcome, Mongolia. Mongolia. From so where? Netherlands. Netherlands. They, they lodge outside. Okay, don't worry. See, God's time is the best. Don't worry. Huh? But one thing we don't know. Sometimes people that receive healing, you that looking at people that are praying for, get more faith than those they are praying for. You, you understand what I'm saying? If somebody is on the way, on the way, and you are there watching, and they are praying for the person, you that are looking, you get more advantage than even the person they are praying for. Because a lot of things will be going in your mind. What has, ah, can, can this happen? If this can happen, what a, what a God we serve. What a future before me. What a son we have. So you have many things that will be going in your mind. And when something is happening, and which is beyond human comprehension, and you are there watching, what a lot will be going in your mind? Mm. 
What a God we have. What a future. What, what a son we serve. What a future before me. So that will enhance your faith. If I, you will not even wait for the man to pray for you before you, you can just say, I'm going, I'm okay. So it will now establish Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So that is it. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that is it. So even the viewer at home, those who have not, are not here, during the prayer, you see them stretching their hand towards the stream and get here because they wash. They, 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 they look at slowly at what they are looking at. Attentively, you see, you, you get you something attentively, you make sure nothing distracts your attention. You cut off from every external forces your mind towards what you are looking attentively. Attentively, your mind towards what you are looking, what is going to happen. So, after you have seen it happen, you look at it, you repeat everything you have seen repeatedly. You begin to rewind those things in your heart. Oh, it started by this way. It started this way. This is how it started. This is how it started. This is how it started. That's faith for you. This is why faith comes. This is why faith comes spontaneously, naturally. If anyone say, until you finish the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you must finish it three times. You must go to theology school. You must finish it. There is not a bar. It's a good thing to finish your Bible 100 million times. It's also a good thing to go to theology school and graduate. It is a good thing to become a professor in a Bible or whatever teaching. It's a good thing. But faith comes spontaneously, naturally, even without going to theology school. Are you with me? Mm. Without even finish the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, faith comes. It is all about trust. When you trust Jesus, faith comes. Trust him, he cannot disappoint you. Trust him, he will not let you down. That is faith. Tell your neighbor, faith comes spontaneously. I can hear you. I can hear you. La foi vient spontanément. Spontaneously. That is naturally. Naturally. I mean, let me tell you, 90% of us here that have faith grow. It's not when the, okay, when you have listened to the word of God, this or that. No. It was maybe in your bedroom. You just lie on the bed. Think over your life. Think over it and over and over and over and over. So God is great. That is how you conclude. And faith come. If I'm talking, let me see your hand. Let me see your hand if I'm talking to you. I repeat it again. Many of us here today, 99% of us, it's not uh, Jesus is oh, Jesus is the preaching, the teaching. We have heard so much. Hey, 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 we have read the Bible. This is from Genesis to Revelation. It was when you were alone somewhere. It could be when you lie on the bed or when you are sick or I mean a lot of things was just going on in your heart. You just see that uh, huh? This is so my friend is late. Is dead now. I never believed this man. And you were alone. I never believed this my friend could just pass on. Ah! And we were talking together. We were playing together. He's so smart, intelligent, better than me. Every quality is, is have it better than me. I look on to him. 
but just suddenly he never complained of sickness i'm the one who do sick i'm the one people were expecting you will die so you just think over and over and over and over and say ah god is great faith come from there you begin to worship him praise him trust him that is how faith come you just need to sit down my brother listen to me i want you to have that the faith of god today just sit down and think about your life take your battle when you are very young a teenager teenagers think about it many of your friends where are they today many are on the seabed think about it think about think about think about and now come back to yourself what are you talking about you say you have no money you have not married you have you you, you are buried you, you have disappointment in marriage you are jobless you are in debt these are the things you are complaining about Think about it. You, you see reason of saying thank you, Jesus. I can face tomorrow. to that how do you know is living you are serving a living God here you are today you are once an embryo in your mother womb look at what you have become an embryo now turned to a fighter An embryo.
An embryo now turned this. So give thanks to him and come to understanding that is worthy, trustworthy, reliable. He's reliable. Jesus is reliable. He's trustworthy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Once again, the Spirit of God will be released to the degree you stand in reverence, to the degree you stand in honor of His way. If you begin to honor His way now, the Spirit of God will be released to you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, if you begin to honor his way, the Spirit of Father, Spirit of Father will be released. Will be released. So, to the, to the degree you honor his way, honor his to the degree to you reverence his way, to the degree, to the degree you respect his way, to, respect his way. to the degree you obey his word. The spirit of father will be released. So you need the spirit of father to do this, to do that, to do this. You cannot do it, you know. Without the spirit of father, you continue to live your life of your own. You'll be more of yourself. You need the spirit of father to the degree you honor his way, you obey his way, to the degree you respect his way, to that degree you receive the Spirit of Father. Ha, Baba, it's the Spirit of Father that talk. When you talk without the Spirit of Father, you talk of yourself. When you pray without the Spirit of Father, you pray to yourself. When you look without the Spirit of Father, you are looking at yourself. When you walk without the Spirit of Father, you are wasting your time. No, it's not by power. It's not by my. By my spirit says that. You listen to that? You listen to that? It's not by power. It's not by your power. It is not by your might. It's by the spirit. When you talk without the spirit of Father, you are talking to yourself. When you are praying without the spirit of Father, you are just talking to yourself. When you walk without the spirit of Father, you are just wasting your time. You go nowhere. And you begin to say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Without the Spirit of Father, you are just calling Jesus, someone bearing Jesus in your street. It's not by power. It's not by power. It's not by mind. It's not by mind. By my spirit, says I.
is the monte? Monte is every foolish thing. Those things you don't want in your life. Those challenges. Those situations. You cannot pray to, to heal addict without the spirit of father. You cannot pray to heal cancer without the spirit of father. You cannot pray to bless someone without the spirit of father. You cannot pray to promote someone without the spirit of father. You cannot pray to, to, to improve one's life without the spirit of father. So once again, write it in your note today. To the degree you reverend is where? Write it, write it in your book. To the degree you reverend is where? Write it, write it, take your note, write it, put it on the screen, my brother, I tell you, right? To the degree you reverend is where? Put it on the screen. To the degree you respect is where? To the degree you obey is where? To the degree you respect is where? To that degree, his prayer will be released. The spirit will be released to the degree you stand, you obey, in reverence. It's where. So it's where. God speaks to us through his word, by his spirit. Through his word, by his spirit. He speaks to us, he talks to us, through his word, by his spirit. The spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverence, in respect of his word. So please obey his word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brother, can I talk?